stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, The Man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today. On this episode, I am reviewing the Seeker cards in the Search for Kadath, the first Mythos pack in the Dream Eater cycle. I'm going to do something a little unorthodox during this review in that I am also going to review three Seeker cards from Point of No Return, the fourth Mythos pack in the cycle. The reason that I'm doing this, I think, will become clear very quickly. There are spoilers throughout if you care about that sort of thing. If you enjoy what you hear, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Before we get started, I'd like to thank the patrons of this channel for their tremendous support and Cole Monroe Chitty for his fantastic art on the splash screen. The Arkham Horror LCG community is amazing, and these people have gone above and beyond to bring you content like these reviews. If you would like to become a patron to support the channel's goals and see your name in lights, follow the link down below, sign up for a tier, and claim your rewards. That would be awesome. Without a further ado, let's get started. The first seeker card in Search for Kadath is Dream Diary Untranslated. It's a two-cost asset that has a willpower skill icon and the item, tome, and charm traits. As an action, you may search your bonded cards for Essence of the Dream and add it to your hand. After you succeed by three or more during a skill test to which essence of the dream is committed, as a response, you may record in your campaign log that you have interpreted the dreams. Dream Diary Untranslated takes up a hand slot. Essence of the Dream is a skill with two wild skill icons and the practiced and expert traits. It is bonded to the Dream Diary. When Essence of the Dream would enter the discard pile or be shuffled into your deck, instead set Essence of the Dream aside out of play with your bonded cards. The Unidentified Seeker assets are one of my favorite mechanics in the Arkham Horror LCG, so I'm glad they're back after going on hiatus during the Circle Undone cycle. The Dream Diary slash Essence of the Dream combo is straightforward. Dream Diary is an asset that lets you draw one card and one card only, that being Essence of the Dream. Essence of the Dream is functionally identical to Unexpected Courage, with the exception being that, much like a yo-yo, you can take an action to pull it back to your hand whenever you need it. It's worth noting that Daisy Walker can do this every round without taking a tempo hit because the Dream Diary is a tome. I don't know about you, but I still play Unexpected Courage a fair amount because deck slots are getting tighter and tighter and Unexpected Courage is, Courage is exceptionally versatile. Dream Diary will never replace a card such as Old Book of Lore in Daisy, but if you're intent on interpreting the dreams, the ability to quote-unquote draw an Unexpected Courage whenever I need it, one to shore up any skill is a pretty damn good for a level 0 card that you're planning on replacing anyway. Interpreting the dreams in the diary should be relatively easy for most seekers. The first thing you need to do is grab Essence of the Dream and add it to your hand. This will cost investigators apart from Daisy an action. Once you've got Essence of the Dream in hand, you need to commit it to the skill test and then succeed by at least three or more. Most scenarios feature at least one, one or two shroud location where you could take an investigate action. There don't even have to be clues there. If uh, Daisy commits Essence of the Dream to a skill test at such a location, she's rocking a skill value of 8, which uh, all but guarantees that she will succeed by 3. It will be slightly more difficult for an off-class seeker such as Luke Robinson to translate the Dream Diary, but uh, not by much. Remember that you just need to succeed by 3 on any skill test and you'll be fine. It uh, doesn't take uh, much for Luke to boost his willpower skill value to 5 or 6. Essence of the Dream raises that to 7 or 8, which should be good enough to succeed by 3 if the difficulty of the skill test is 2 or 3, respectively. Designer Matt Newman hinted during a recent interview on the Great Old Ones Gaming Podcast that the payoff for interpreting the dreams would be cool. We didn't have to wait long as we received not one, not two, but three upgrades for the Dream Diary in the Point of No Return Mythos pack. Dream Diary, Dreams of the Explorer, Dream Diary, Dreams of a Madman, and Dream Diary, Dreams of a Child are two-cost assets that cost three experience points. They have willpower and agility, willpower and combat, and willpower and intellect skill icons, respectively. All three have the item, tome, and charm traits, take up a hand slot, and have the following response. When your turn begins, search your bonded cards for Essence of the Dream and add it to your hand. All three versions add two wild skill icons to Essence of the Dream for a total of four. The key difference is the condition that triggers them. If you're playing Dreams of the Explorer, your Essence of the Dream gains two wild skill icons when you are at a location with a shroud value of at least four. 
If you're playing Dreams of a Madman, your Essence of the Dream gains two willpower skill, two wild uh, skill icons while you were engaged with an enemy. Finally, if you're playing Dreams of a Child, your Essence of the Dream gains two wild skill icons while you have at least eight cards in your hand. The key difference between the untranslated and translated versions of the Dream Diary is fetching Essence of the Dream becomes a response rather than an action. At the start of every turn, you get to pull a skill card with two wild skill icons back to your hand without taking an action. As long as you commit Essence of the Dream to a skill test before your next turn, be it to your own skill test or that of a counterpart during the investigation or mythos phases, you get Essence of the Dream back so you can uh, rinse and repeat. That is a very strong ability, especially if you're playing an investigator such as Min Tae Fan, who can add a third wild skill icon to Essence of the Dream. Cards with uh, three wild skill icons are powerful, but usually come with some sort of restriction. If you're uh, playing Min, you've got a skill card with three wild skill icons and no restriction. That is uh, fantastic. If drawing the equivalent of an unexpected courage for free every turn wasn't enough, Dream Diary will add two wild skill icons to Essence of the Dream under certain conditions. Of the three versions of Dream Diary, Dreams of the Explorer seems difficult to trigger consistently. Locations with a shroud value of 4+, plus simply aren't that common. The Midnight Masks from the core set has 9 locations, but to only 2 with a shroud value of 4 or higher. A Phantom of Truth from the Path to Carcosa campaign has 10 locations, but only 3 have a shroud value of 4 or higher. It's not like investigators are going to spend a lot of time at those locations either. Most scenarios encourage you to discover the clues at one location and then move on to the next. That said, I could see playing Dreams of the Explorer in a Min Te Fan deck that is planning to barricade itself in a high shroud location and then dish out skill cards with analytical mind. Dreams of a Madman seems like a good choice for solo seekers. Odds are they will be engaged with an enemy or two at some point during a scenario and seekers struggle in the enemy management department at the best of times. Four wild skill icons would go a long way to helping them pass a key combat or agility skill test. Dreams of the Madman seems less useful in multiplayer since I'd expect combat-oriented investigators to pull enemies off me ASAP so I uh, could get back to work discovering clues. Dreams of a Child rewards investigators who can manage their hand size. Maintaining a hand size of at least 8 cards can be very challenging. However, unlike locations and en enemies, it's something an investigator can control, which should make it slightly easier to trigger consistently. This card seems destined for those uh, Min Tae Fan and Mandy Thompson decks that want to jack their hand size using cards such as Laboratory Assistant and Dream Enhancing Serum, and then uh, draw all the cards. It's important to note the upgraded version of the Dream Diary is non-unique, which means you can have uh, multiple copies of it in play. I'm not entirely sure if Essence of the Dream has six wild skill icons if you have two copies of Dreams of an Explorer in play while your investigator is at a Four Shroud location, but they uh, certainly would if you had Dreams of an Explorer and Dreams of a Madman in play and you were uh, engaged with an enemy at a Four Shroud location. I'm uh, almost certain there is something horrendous that you can do if you commit a skill with uh, six wild skill icons to a skill test, but I'll uh, leave that uh, for other people in the community to discover. That's going to do it for my review of the Seeker cards in the Search for Kadath. Now that I've seen the upgrades for Dream Diary untranslated, I can understand why designer Matt Newman was so enthusiastic about these cards. Translating the Dream Diary should be a snap for pretty much any investigator with an above average skill. That is, uh, most investigators. It's even easier for seekers who are just one investigate action away from translating it. While you're attempting to interpret the dreams, you've got a card that lets you draw the equivalent of an unexpected courage whenever you need it. Personally, I think that's a pretty cool ability to have at your fingertips when you're starting a campaign, and you don't have access to a lot of cards that double up on skill icons, much less two wild skill icons. Upgrading two copies of Dream Diary will set you back six experience points, but the ability to fetch Essence of the Dream as a response to the start of your turn is fantastic. It's going to be challenging to bump Essence of the Dream up to four wild skill icons consistently, considering four shroud locations are rare. Your best bet is to play Dreams of a Madman or Dreams of a Child, especially if you're already playing a deck tricked out to maximize your hand size and draw a lot of cards. Remember that Dream Diary is non-unique, so Essence of the Dream could have six wild skill icons if you play your cards right.
That's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoy what you hear, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder side closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating.